Alright guys, here we are again for another full face first impressions. I have a ton of new makeup and I haven't filmed for a couple weeks so I feel like kind of like a fish out of water. But I got a bunch of new stuff. I want to start off with Maybelline. Maybelline just sent me this new primer and also these new stick foundations. So this is the Master Prime Primer Base for blurring and pore minimizing. To me this looks like it's going to be pretty much very similar to maybe like the Smashbox photo finish like the original. So it's absolutely clear. So I'm just gonna apply this. Um, my only concern with something like this would be that it would make me really oily. I almost need um, a blur primer that is like mattifying as well, but we're gonna give it a go. It feels very smooth. It feels pretty much identical to the Smashbox one, so maybe this would be a dupe. So let's see if it helps my pores. I'm gonna go in now with their new Super Stay Multi-Use Foundation Stick. This says cream to matte formula, full coverage. So I have two shades that I pulled here, 118, which is light beige, and then 220, which is natural beige. Um, this has like a sponge on the one side. Hold on. Tell, but this is a sponge, which I'm assuming they want you to blend with. I mean, let's be real, I'm not gonna use that. It's just, it's just not ideal. I have tools, I have beauty blenders, I have brushes. I'm gonna do half my face with the Beauty Blender and then the other half with this Morphe R6, just like a flat top Kabuki. This one looks dark, but that's why I thought I would grab the lighter one, maybe for the inside or the center. Why did I say the inside? The center of my face. So this says full coverage, so we shall see. For me, stick foundations look nice for about an hour and then they break apart and they slide off and they get greasy. That's kind of been my experience with them so I can't say that I love them like I feel like the hourglass one looks great for like an hour or two and then all of a sudden it's just like sliding off my face so I'm gonna go in with the R8 on this side it's not looking like full coverage it's almost um well it looks really thin Okay, so there's one half with the brush. Um, it's not full coverage. I would say it's like a medium, probably buildable. So let's go in with a sponge on this side and see. I know a lot of times like sponges will suck up a lot of the product, uh, but sometimes they do blend nicer. I feel like it kind of meshes with your skin. So sometimes I do prefer to almost build up the coverage with a beauty blender. So in this case, this is not, I would not say this is full coverage. Again, sometimes with that slippy primer, um, I feel like foundation won't stick. Like I said, it's so um, smooth that it's almost like not sticking. So let's go in with another layer. And I think I do prefer the brush just because this is not like a full coverage like in one go, you know, like for every day, like if I was just doing my normal day, this would be fine. But since we're going to play with a bunch of kind of full glam stuff, I want some more. So I'm just going to kind of buff and then you can also stipple in areas that you need more coverage. For me, it's like around my nose. Okay, so here is two layers. I feel like that's sufficient coverage. It's pretty much full. I will say this is different from most stick foundations that I've tried. In the past, they're very creamy. Um, they just feel very wet, very heavy. You can kind of like slide your finger and it comes right off. This one almost, it's not tacky. It almost sets itself. I feel like if you have dry skin. Now I definitely do not, so I will be setting with powder, but it does almost dry to a powder finish, so I think that is kind of what they're talking about in terms of the cream to matte. It does almost feel like it's, like it feels like I have a light powder on my skin. So that could be nice for people that want to do a stick foundation. I love the ease of them. Like I feel like they're so quick. I don't know what it is, but I, I have this weird thing. I don't like touching like liquids. To me, it's very appealing to have a kind of like the Clinique Beyond Perfecting or the Tarte Shape Tape where you can actually apply it with the applicator or a stick foundation. But as I said, stick foundations typically just don't last on my skin. So I will leave an update down below or a pinned comment in terms of the lasting power on this um, because we are doing a first impression and I'll let you guys know my thoughts in terms of how it wore. But so far, I feel like it looks nice. Um, I don't really have any complaints. It's just 
it's not full coverage in one go, I would say. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with concealer. This is the new Too Faced Born This Way Sculpting Concealer. So I think I've used this in one video, but I really wanted to use it, I think I used it in a voiceover and I wanted to do it kind of talking over it. So I have vanilla. I did get the PR package and I think I've pulled three or four shades for myself, um, just kind of in various stages of my self tan. So I'm just gonna use this to highlight. Um, I don't know, I mean, I like this. Like I've used it a couple times and I do like it. Um, it's very creamy, it's not, I feel like if the Tarte Shape Tape was too dry for you, you would like this. Now I feel like the Tarte Shape Tape still has a little bit more coverage, but you can build this up. Um, you do get a ton of product, which is nice, but I think if you're oily like me, this might make you a little bit more oily. So just keep that in mind. If you're gonna use this and really highlight and pull it down, you might want to use like a matte primer. So I do like it. It's just basically to me, it's a little bit less coverage and more creamy or more hydrating than uh, shape tape. But it does look good under the eye. I don't have any complaints in terms of that. And they have a really nice color uh, selection or shade range. So I'm just gonna use this. And I picked this uh, vanilla shade to highlight. Okay, so I have the new Huda Beauty powder. This is her Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder in Sugar Cookie. So I have the lightest shade because I really wanna brighten under my eyes. Now I have tried another shade a couple times and I do like this powder, but I've never used it on camera with you guys. So if you can see, it has a netting in there, which I do actually appreciate. I think it's kind of a nice way to keep the powder a little bit more, you know, what is it, clean? Because loose powders are loose powders, they're gonna get everywhere, but. So this powder is very, very, very finely milled. Almost like texture wise, very similar to the Patrick's powder from Patrick Star, I would say. When you try to apply it, it almost, it's like, I mean, it's there, but it's not thick like a Laura Mercier where you can like really pack it on. Cause you can see I've added two layers and it still kind of looks like sheer. It's not like that thick powder. This also does have a fragrance. Um, I can smell it. I kind of wish it didn't, but it's not like crazy. I really like the peach powder, um, the perfect peach Too Faced powder, but it sometimes literally like irritates my eyes. I don't feel this is irritating my eyes. I can smell it and I think it's a little bit strong, but the peach one from Too Faced really kind of like, there's been times when I've like inhaled it and almost like choked. So if you don't like a scent, I would just steer clear of this altogether just because, it, I mean, there's a scent, you know? And if you like the peach powder and that doesn't bother you, then I feel like this is not as strong, but it's similar in the sense of being a heavily scented powder. Okay, so I'm gonna let that sit and to set the rest of my face, I'm gonna use this Mally Beauty foundation. This is the 4K Ultra HD Fantasy Foundation in the shade Light. So I think Mally Beauty is something that I used to buy a lot of on QVC. I've always loved makeup, you guys. Like, before I started my channel, I had probably three Ikea drawers full of makeup. It's just always been a passion of mine. Um, really ever since maybe like 18. So when I was younger, I loved makeup and stuff, but I really didn't know much about it. But then as I got older and I started like going out to bars and stuff like that, I really kind of just fell in love with it. And every weekend I would go to the bar, I would be all done up and people would say like, what lipstick are you wearing? Or what lashes are those? Or, you know, so it just felt like natural for me to do beauty because I love sharing like what I love with people. Um, like when people ask me what I'm wearing, I'm like, I'm wearing this, I got it from here, you know, like I love sharing that, so this was like perfect for me. So anyways, I used to buy a lot of Mally Beauty, Laura Geller, Josie Marin on QVC, and then I got more into like Sephora and stuff. So Mally did send me this, and I can say that Mally has really good foundations. Like she has a lot of different ones, and she has a lot of good powders and stuff, like complexion products. I even used to love her concealer. So this is new to me, this is in the shade Light. And this is probably something where you could probably use it on its own. Cause I know that most of her makeup or powders and stuff were almost like, like they have a good coverage. Very similar to like 
a pressed bare minerals powder in the sense that you could use it alone or you can also use it to set, which is what I'm doing today. Mally is in Ulta now, I believe, but they don't send a lot of PR out, so I feel like you don't see a lot of influencers talking about them. Um, but they did send me this, so we'll see. I mean, it, I feel like it looks smooth, it's set. So, so far so good. We'll see how it wears and what I think about it. All right, so it's been about five minutes, so I'm gonna take this Huda Beauty brush, you can use any brush, and just wipe away the bake. And like I said, there's not a ton to wipe away because it is so finely milled. I feel like it almost melds into the skin, very similar to that Patrick's powder. So I really like this powder in terms of what I've tried. I've tried it a few times. I feel like it's nice and light. It's not cakey. It's very lightweight, as I said. It kind of just melts in. Um, I feel like it looks really nice and smoothing. So, so far, I'm pretty happy with this powder. I think there are eight shades. So the only con I would say would be the scent. If you do not like scents near your eyes or whatever, I would skip on it. Okay, now we're gonna go on to brows. This is a new brow product. This is the Brow Perfector from NARS. I have the shade Medium Cool Brown here. So I will use this to outline. I have not tried this yet. Again, this is just kind of like the Brow Wiz from Anastasia. Every brand's kind of bringing these out now. So I'm gonna use this to outline and then I'm gonna go in, because I don't have a new pomade, I'm gonna go in with my LA Girl pomade. Okay, first thoughts is it is creamy, creamier than like a brow whiz. So you you don't need a like um, firm pressure. It just kind of glides on. If you go in with firm pressure, it's probably gonna be too much. Um, we'll have to see how it lasts again. I don't typically have problems with my brows lasting really, um, more so my foundation. So I'm just gonna finish this off, but it's nice and pigmented. It's gliding on really nicely. I'm going to finish up my brows and then I'll kind of give you my thoughts, but so far so good. So overall, I do like this NARS pencil. Um, I don't think you necessarily like need this specific brand, but I do like that it's pigmented and it works really well, so not bad. Okay, moving on. You guys seem really excited about this. This is a new Flamingo eyeshadow palette from Violet Voss. I purchased this myself and look at these colors. So pretty, let me give you a close up if you missed it in my last video. I have no idea what I'm gonna do. I'm just going to basically, I don't know, just see what happens. So I'm starting out with the shade Coral. I'm gonna use that in my crease. So I zoomed you guys in a little bit and I am just going to start blending this in my crease. So next I'm gonna go into the shade Flamingos right up here, which is like a reddish pink color. And I'm just going to kind of build some color here. So the first shade was pretty sheer, almost like, I don't wanna say sheer, but it was like more of a pastel. These are almost like, I don't wanna say like watercolor, that's what they remind me of. They're blending nicely though. Not really having any issues in terms of sticking or anything like that. I just feel like they're a little bit pastel, meaning that you can kind of build them. Okay, now I wanna go into the shade Beach Ball. This is where I get nervous. Mixing these kind of shades together, but that's what this is all about. I'm just going to focus this. Lower. More on the lid and then in my actual crease. And then go back in with that first brush. Kind of blend any harsh edges. And then go in again. Yeah, these are like watercolor. I feel like um, they need some building. They're not like straight away super dark, which 
could be a good or bad thing. We'll have to see how this comes together. Okay, so to blend in kind of the crease area, I'm going to go into the shade Sandals, which is a kind of burnt orange. I'm just going to... Blend it into that blue shade just to deepen up that crease a little bit. Good lord, my bulldog is snoring so loud. So I feel like this is looking a little bit sheer or it's like not as pigmented as I'm kind of wanting. So I almost feel like I want to go on the lid with a shimmer. Um, I think I'm going to mix Surf and Tidal Wave and just kind of see what happens. My bulldog is snoring so loud. It's like so distracting. Poopy! Can you calm it down, sir? Thank you so much. Okay, so I did wet my brush and we're going to mix Tidal Wave and Surf. And apply this. Okay, so I definitely like that better, but we still need to kind of deepen. I feel like these shades are just not deep, um, the mattes in particular. They're like washes of color, and that can be a little bit tricky. So let's go into Flamingos again, and I'm gonna see if I can kind of just add a little bit more depth here. And then to deepen up, I'm gonna go back into sandals and just kind of deepen up these outer corners. So I'm kind of struggling with this palette, which I'm a little bit disappointed about. I mean, I feel like it looks okay, but I feel like I'm struggling in terms of the mattes. I just don't know if they're not sticking and they seem very sheer. Okay, so I applied liner and lashes and now I'm gonna go in and start on the lower lash line. I think I'm gonna go into the shade Popsicle, which is like a really bright orange. And I'm gonna really blow this out. Now I'm gonna go into the shade Watermelon. You guys, I had an energy drink and I am like shaking like a leaf. I'm not good with caffeine. I don't know why I did that, but now I'm like, ugh, like doing my eyeliner. I was like, struggle bus. Do you guys drink coffee? I'm sure a lot of you do. I just don't like the taste of it because your girl needs some caffeine. But now that, see when I do caffeine, I'm like, brrr, like crazy. So for my inner corner, I'm trying to decide. I think I want to go purple. So I think I'm going to mix, what is this? Bikini up here and seashell to lighten it. And I'm going to do an inner corner highlight because I want to just add some more drama since I feel like I don't know I'm not I don't know I'm not overly impressed so applying this to the inner corner because why not this is a colorful palette I feel like we still need something Something else, what do we need? You know what, I'm gonna go into Pinwheel, which is a shimmer, but I'm gonna apply this on the lower lash line to give me like some depth. Apply this to the lower lash line. Okay, so for the inner corner, I'm not the inner corner, my inner rim, I'm gonna use this Makeup Forever pencil in 124. It's like a shimmery blue. I wanted to use my baby blue Marc Jacobs, but I literally can't find it. So we're just gonna make this work. Okay, moving on from Violet Voss as well. I have high hopes for this. This is the Glamingo Face Palette, and this is also available at Sephora. So you have two blushes, three highlighters, and a matte bronzer. So to bronze up the face, I'm gonna go into Bronze Goddess. This is a matte bronzer shade. Seems like it's cool enough that you could use it to contour if you had to, so let's see how this blends. I'm just going to apply this on the perimeters of my skin. So I feel like that did a good job bronzing. I'm going to go in next 
to the blush and I think I'm going to use Flamingo just because we kind of have those like red tones on the eye. Okay, I tried to literally have my hair down and it was just driving me crazy. So now I'm gonna go into White Sand. This is the highlighter. And I think I might mix in a little bit of Paradise. There we go, so it does build up. Okay, so I'm gonna line my lips. I'm gonna use the Kylie Jenner Bare Lip Liner. I purchased this and it's just like a nice nude lip liner. So for lipstick, I did purchase the three liquid lipsticks from Laura Lee Los Angeles. I really just thought two of them would work for me, um, which would be Nakey Nakey and Topless. Topless is the middle shade, so I'm going to go in with this. Um, these smell really good. I don't know if it's like Jolly Ranchers, I thought she said, or I can't remember, but I just swatched these last night. I haven't used it on the lips yet. Ooh, I really like that color. Okay, so really liking this color. I'm gonna go in with Nakey Nakey, which is the lightest shade in the center. They feel really comfortable. They almost feel like, I don't know, like a, what is it, satin? They feel comfortable, so they almost feel like moussey. So, and then to top it off, just because I have this and I wanna try it, this is the full, vinyl lip lacquer from NARS in Cape Town. I love these lip lacquers, but this shade in particular just looks really cool. It's like a pinky gold shift. So I feel like I'm just gonna add a tiny bit because I don't, I don't want like metallic lips. Yeah, exactly. I figured this would be pretty pigmented. I just want to add a little bit. It's like a fine line. You don't want to go too frosty because I'm not a fan of like frosty lips. All right, guys, so here is the finished look. Overall, I think it looks nice, but I do have some thoughts. So I want to start out with the foundation. I like it so far. I feel like it looks nice. I don't feel as though it accentuated anything. It kind of went from a cream to a powder. Just as it says, cream to matte. So I will update you guys in terms of wear time, but I feel like it looks pretty nice. So. I have high hopes for it, but we'll see. Uh, the concealer, again, I said it's a hydrating tart shape tape with a little bit less coverage, so I like it. I think it's good. Do I think it's like my holy grail? No, but I do like it. Huda Beauty Powder, I do like. I would recommend if you're not sensitive to scents. I think it's nice and smoothing, and it sets your makeup nicely, so I do like that. Um, still out on the Mally powder. Again, I'm going to have to see how it wears, but I feel like it went on nicely. It didn't accentuate any dryness and it kind of smoothed out my skin. In terms of the Flamingo eyeshadow palette, a little bit on the fence, a little disappointed. If you are going to try to do some deep smoky, well, I don't want to say smoky, but if you're trying to do some deep looks, like for me to put this on the lid, um, some of these shades like this one right here, you need some deep colors. And I know there's a black, but I feel like the black is a little bit off. Um, just for the colors of this palette, it's so bright to have that black. I just wish they would have added a couple more deep shades like um, Beach Ball, but again, it didn't stick. I felt like it was kind of blending away. The mattes were, and I saw in another review, she said she wished she wouldn't have set her base because she felt kind of similar. So I don't know if that would be the case, but I always set my base. So again, if you're gonna use these pinks and these yellows and these um, blues to kind of just apply to your crease and blow it out for a summer look, I think this would be great. For me trying to do too much of a deep look or like a more dramatic look, I'm not sure. So jury's out, I feel like again, these colors look really vibrant, but they almost apply pastel. So that would be my review on this. Just go into it knowing that you're gonna get a wash of color and you're not gonna get like a full deep look. In terms of the Glamingo face palette, um, I like the blushes or the blush, you know, I love blush. Uh, the highlighter is a little bit lackluster for me. I even used it wet and I felt like I had to do three layers. 
Violet Boss has better uh, highlighters. Like in the past, they had a rose gold palette that I thought was phenomenal. The bronzer, pretty, nothing spectacular. So again, this is just okay for me. Not something that I would say run out and grab. Not bad, but not blowing my mind. And then lastly, the lip products. I am really, really liking these. Topless and Nakey Nakey from Laura Lee Los Angeles. Again, I did buy these myself and the colors are just beautiful. They are up my alley. Now I know, like I said, I've, I've talked to someone that said they pull really yellow on them and they don't look good on them. So it's all kind of your preference. I would check swatches and see, but I kind of like colors like this. Um, so it works for me and I feel like they smell nice. They look nice. I have no butthole lips. I have issues with that. Seriously, you guys, like some of the Smashbox formulas, the Anastasia formulas, even some dose of colors, I will get that line within, you know, 15 minutes and I cannot stand that. So they smell good, they're pigmented, I really like the way they apply. And then I really like this full vinyl lip lacquer. I'm actually gonna mention a couple in my favorites because I really enjoy this. So I like the formula. Um, this one is super pigmented, so a little goes a long way, but I would just find a color that works for you. All right guys, so that concludes my full face first impressions. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know down below, have you tried any of these products? Are you eyeing them? And what you think of just kind of watching me apply and what products you thought looked really nice or products that you thought you saw me struggle with. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I have a lot more videos coming your way. I'll see you in the next one.